Hello everybody and welcome to Nick's stream. Are you stuck in quarantine and you have that itch to go game hunt and you can't? Well I'm here to tell you, you can and you can successfully with online game hunting. Today I'm going to show you my top 10 best finds on online purchasing. Let's check it out. Hello everyone, welcome back. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys today my top 10 online purchase finds. Now, what I'm going to show you today isn't everything I've gotten good deals online. This is just, I want to say, my personal top 10 favorite things that I got. So, uh, let's get into it. Okay, so before we get into that top 10, I want to show you guys another game secret. Now, I, I find things online through rigorous browsing and stuff, and uh, if you don't have time to do that, fine. You can't necessarily get the deals all the time that you're looking for, because it's very time-consuming, but you can do it. Um, but if you can't, there's other avenues which you could explore for game hunting. One of the other things I did was, um, I'm a huge Zelda, Legend of Zelda fan, favorite video game franchise, and, uh, I wanted to collect a little bit more, so I started getting the Japanese game. So if you're into game hunting and uh, you want to find something cheap online, Japanese games are dirt cheap and it looks awesome on the shelf. So like, here's Japanese Wind Waker, I got a Japanese Link to the Past, I got uh, in a Japanese Ocarina of Time with a Japanese player's guide that came with it. These were all bought online and uh, they were all dirt cheap. Um, they cost maybe a quarter of what the American versions of these things cost. So uh, if you can't find any good deals online, you can always expand into other avenues. Now, let's get into my 10 finds. So these 10 finds aren't really necessary in any order. They're more of like uh, big value jumps. I'm trying to show you guys some different stuff. Uh, I'm gonna start off with Gears of War 5. Now I haven't played this yet, but it was a good deal. I wanted to show a modern game. So uh, this game I got a complete sealed um, off of eBay for 25 bucks. Uh, I think still new, it's still going for about 50. So. Uh, almost half the price of what you would pay in the store so this is a good one to check out um like i said you browse around on ebay you can find uh you can find deals out there you just gotta browse next up this is actually an amazon find through a third-party amazon seller and that is comic zone complete inbox this game is awesome loved it playing growing up of course it was my brother's game so when we all moved out he took it uh, i found this complete in box 25 bucks it's worth about uh, 50 to 60 complete, so I got a good deal on this. Next up, I have a good one here. A game I used to love as a kid. I think we rented it. I'm not sure where I played it or if my uncle had it or where, but we never had it. Um, but I did play it a lot. Very happy to find this on eBay. It is Batman NES in box. Um, I paid $20 for this, and it's worth about 50 bucks. Um, just browsing, you find these things. It's amazing. Next up, we got a good one. Now, this was... Uh, this was a really good find. I didn't wasn't looking for it. Uh, what I was looking for, I got my brother a Rob the Robot for uh, his birthday, and uh, I wanted to find the parts for Gyromite. And I was browsing all over eBay trying to get the best deals for the parts of Gyromite because individually the parts when they sell they're worth a fortune. And um, so I managed to find this NES lot. It uh, came with a system. The Zapper, two controllers, um, a bunch of Rob the Robot Gyromite parts, um, the spinner, uh, the stand, um, and the, the two tops it came with, which are the most expensive Rob pieces. Uh, they're worth about 40 bucks each themselves. And uh, I paid 60 bucks for this entire lot. And uh, I didn't know that this NES was going to work. And I plugged it in. And I. I tell you, this is the best working NES I've ever seen in my life. You do not have to blow into the cartridges with this thing. Stick them in, they work right away. That being said, I do take all my cartridges apart and clean them before I put them in. 
but I've never found an NES that worked this well. Not even as when we were kids did any NES I've ever encountered work as good as this one. I'm so happy to have this NES. So like I said earlier, um, I paid 60 bucks for this lot of all this stuff and it's worth about 140 to 200 bucks uh, depending on what the raw parts there's only ever a few on eBay at a time so like their prices range but yeah, it, works, it goes from about 140 to 200 bucks what this lot was worth. Now next one up may not seem like a big deal, but like percentage-wise it kind of is. Next up I have Altered Beast Complete in Box for the Sega Genesis. Now, you might say, oh that's a very common game, everybody has that, right? It's not worth a lot. Yeah, it's not, but uh, the difference is game Complete in Box is worth about 25 bucks. I paid $5 for it on eBay. Um, awesome game, love this as a kid growing up, and uh... Yeah, I paid a fifth the price. Next up, I have something from a different system. A system called the Super Nintendo. This game is Super Mario All-Stars Complete in Box. Um, this game I paid $40 for. It's worth about $80, so I paid half the price. Um, it's a, com a compilation of uh, the first three NES Super Mario games but the graphics were redone for the Super Nintendo. So this is an awesome find. I was really happy to get it. Um, what's kind of funny though, it is complete in box, but the cartridge is the player's choice version and the box is the regular version of the game. So somewhere along the line through history, this game got mixed up. Next up, I have a Sega Genesis game again, and uh, this game I enjoyed uh, playing growing up. I've already done a video on this. Uh, my cousin had this game, and it's a game called Haunting, starring Poltergeist. Now, I bought this game loose. It's an EA game, as you can see here, and uh, so it's a larger cartridge. So I bought this game loose, and uh, I just took a sport, $3 sports game, took the case from it, and uh, I uh, printed off the artwork and threw it on the case just to have it on the shelf. Um, this game, loose, is worth about 70 bucks. I paid 25 for it. So, uh, yeah, it was a very good find, this one. <laughs> Next up, I have an awesome, awesome find. I was really happy to find this one. Very lucky to find this one. This one is an NES game lot. Now, this game lot consisted of a lot of NES games that I needed, but I didn't have. Except for one. I had one of the games in this lot. And that game that I had in this lot was Ninja Gaiden. Which is fine that it came in the lot because I could go trade it in, get some trading value somewhere else, no big deal. So that was the game whatever, right? So this five game lot paid 60 bucks for it. The other games in the lot are Bionic Commando, which is a must have NES game. Awesome, awesome game. Not worth a ton, maybe 20 bucks, 25 bucks, um, but it's a good game. Keep in mind, I paid $60 for this lot. Um, Ninja Gaiden's worth about 10 to 15. And I'm not gonna get that on a trade. I didn't get it on a trade-in, but that's what it's about worth. Mega Man 2 was the next one in there. This is worth about 25, 30 bucks as well. And then the other two are the big ones that were in this lot, and they're worth about 40 to 45 bucks each. The first one is Castlevania, and the second one is Contra. Yes, Contra. And uh, this is the all five of these I paid 60 bucks. This set is worth about 150 bucks. This next one is another one I got pretty lucky on. Um, I got lucky on it because together it's an expensive game. Even separate it's an expensive game. Um, I got lucky because I found all the parts separately for this one. And this game is Super Metroid. This game is awesome. I got a complete in box. I paid $15 for the game. I got very lucky on that because the game by itself is usually worth about 60 to 70 bucks. And then I got the box and manual for 20. And it actually worked out really well because they're both the player's choice version. And uh, this version goes for about 120 bucks complete in box. And I paid $35 for it. What an amazing find this was. I bought them separately, but I bought them both on eBay. Um, I got very, very lucky with this. Uh, I got the, the, the actual game from a uh, pawn shop in Alberta, Medicine Hat, Alberta, that uh, posted up there. Like I said, 15 bucks. And uh, there's another uh, guy on eBay I follow that uh, sells a lot of boxes and manuals and stuff, and he was selling this for 20 So, amazing deal, amazing game. Last but not least, 
one of the best games I got, probably the best game I got here in this collection. Um, a lot of people, it's their favorite game of all time. This game, I paid $70 for. And that is A Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Yes, I paid $70 for this game, complete in box, it's not even the player's choice version, it's the regular version of the game. Um, this usually goes for about $140, this version of this game. Um, yes, I paid $70 for this game, and it was an amazing find, I was so happy to get it. Um, it's usually... That's a lot more than I usually spend on anything gaming. Um, everything I always try to look for dirt cheap prices, I never pay full price for anything. Um, so I managed to get this, uh, it's more than I usually pay for anything like I said, but it was worth it because it was such a good deal, half price pretty much, um, for this amazing game to have in my collection. Like I said, Legend of Zelda is my favorite game series of all time, and uh, I didn't mind spending it on that. Well everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video of my top 10 best deals that I got online. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you dislike what you saw, hit dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. If there's any game you want me to play, leave it in the comments and uh, I'll see if I can I got it and I uh, can do a let's play of it. Well, enjoy your quarantine. Start game hunting online if you got that itch and you can get those deals. It's possible. We'll see you later.